How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into ranked once again and this time we got a masterpiece of trolliness. So today's deck is all about the monsters, all about the annoying monsters. Uh, shout out to Swordfish111 in the Discord for giving me this deck. He's my deck sponsor. Gave me, uh, gave me a version of this deck and I modified it slightly because I did try it out and I was, it was getting wrecked. It was getting completely wrecked. I don't know why. But, so I went ahead and threw in some different cards. So let's go ahead and talk about this this monstrosity. Alright, so we got that Gale Lizard is the first card you're seeing right now. It's all about the flips in this deck. It's all about uh, setting a card, getting attacked by an opponent, and then facing re repercussions. Now, we have a Gale Lizard, a really good card with the flip effect to bounce a monster back to the hand. Really good against certain cards in the meta. Next card we're looking at is Manier Bug. This card is really, really kind of an MVP of this deck. You basically set them, they attack into them, you get to choose your card that you want to destroy. It's it's pretty cheeky and it's pretty hilarious. Uh, it's a pretty good thing to set first turn and I really like this card. Alright, next we're running the Double Sphere Karibo. These, these are here for protection. We're running two Sphere Karibo, two normal Karibo, because we just kind of use them in our hand in case, um, for whatever reason, I don't know, they had, we used a Warm Worm, which is the next card, and their monster survived, we milled their deck. Then they have two monsters, we get to start protecting our stuff and bouncing their stuff back. Also, if they have level 4 monsters, they're going to get wrecked by this level 4 or level 4 hate card. It's the 4 star Ladybug of Doom, pretty cheeky card. We're also running Triple Yomi Ship. Yomi Ship is all about the destruction, kind of like Man Eater Bug, but you do not choose. So that is the slight downside, but it does have more defense, so if you are aiming to at least burn them slightly, then that'll work. Alright, so then we also run two copies of DD Warrior. This guy is hilarious, they attack into him, they get banished. It could be a good way around uh, certain cards where they benefit from having certain things in the grave. Uh, so DD Warrior is here for that reason, also because he's just it's just hilarious when they attack into him. We want to run one copy of Exploder Dragon, same thing as Yomi Ship. Except they attack into him and they just get wrecked. You can also clash this guy into your opponent's monster and you do not take damage. Alright, and the last card we're running is Jirok Terra. This thing is really, really fun too. It's basically you set it, they attack into it, they get bounced. So their monster is going to get bounced right back to their hand. And that is pretty cheeky, especially if they have like a fusion or something. Some other, other monster that requires some kind of like a, maybe a ritual or something to get onto the field because this thing bounces it right back and they have to go through the trouble of summoning it all over again. Uh, so like if they summon a god card, dude, Jirok Terra has got you covered, dude. It's going to bounce that thing right back and it's going to be hard to summon it again. And then we do have that meme extra deck. Uh, so just to trick our opponent into thinking we're running like Bamboo Cancer or uh, Bamboo Cancer is because of the dual standby. Or we trick them into having, uh, thinking we have a uh, Cyberstein deck because we have all the cards in the extra deck. So we got that Bakuri box, we got that Desfrog, Worm Zero, we got Ojama King, he's necessary, and we have eight copies of Chimera Tech Over Dragon. I literally have like eight copies of this guy. Zane does not drop anything else besides Chimera Tech Over Dragon. All right, but fair enough. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into rank and let's see how we do today. All right, who's first? We got the Dark Dacroy? Dacroy? Uh oh, we got Pegasus, dude. Pegasus. I mean, I know Cyber Angels got nerfed, but he's on a winning streak, so this is pretty much Cyber Angels. All right. And <laughs> we're giving them an extra card. This is looking bad. All right, so. Do they have Mind Scan? I think they do, right? Actually, no. He's got Restart. Interesting, dude. Alright, guess he chose to restart. Uh, let's hope he draws a really bad hand. Because he actually made me wait like 30 seconds. What a degenerate. You guys didn't see it, but I I, I felt the time cross. Alright, so he's setting. Hehehe, <laughs> not bad. Alright, so come on, draw. Oh, okay. A warm, warm first turn. Is that what I really want? Is that what I really want? Set warm, warm. Because I feel like I want to start milling him early. But we'll see. Okay. What are you running, dude? What are you running? Don't flip it. Alright, perfect. Go ahead. Go ahead and make my day. Just set that to off so he doesn't know I have a Karibo. Oh, that mill. Oh, he's got plants, dude. He's got straight up plants. Interesting deck, dude. 
Meaning that's probably a uh, Rose Lover. That's probably Rose Lover. That's not that bad. All right, we got the Man Eater Bug. Man Eater Bug. So, I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna go ahead and end. All right. Not that bad. They think I have like straight up mill right now. So they might stop attacking. But we will see. A tribute to the doomed. It destroys. You kind of danked out, boy. You kind of danked out. Effect. Mill. Get milled, dude. Oof. Oh, he's got the rose lover he needs. This is scary, dude. He can go for a big play. And I'm gonna have to stop it with Kariba. Oh yeah, he's got it. He's got the nuts, dude. All right, so which one of the big plants is he summoning? P probably Marinha. But we'll see. Well, yep, that's her. Ah, noise. she's here, dude. All right, we're definitely blocking her attack because that would be very scary. Time to battle. All right, not bad. All right, we're we're definitely life stopping that. Your life points yeah, let's go ahead and Kariba. Exactly what I was waiting for. My Just defense is 16. Activity. All right. One thing I can do is like she she does stuff if like plants are destroyed. So let's we're probably gonna be setting a man eater bug. Probably. Ooh, got the Kariba right on time, dude. Right on time. All right, so I want to set you and end. I know that's a rose lover in the middle. Uh, so she she's got the Marinha. She's gonna have this plant guy. I think we're all set. I mean, if he attacks the plant guy, doesn't summon or something, or if he tributes, wouldn't be bad either. But we'll see. Just straight battle. He's tributing, dude. Well, all right, he's going to have another big plant. It's double marinha. All right, so the thing is, here, I go. here we go. I we're going to get the effect the to destroy right now. Manator bug. You're going to get wrecked. So we destroy this one. And I think she also has an effect, like she has to destroy something or something. It, it destroys my stuff, basically. So uh, we got over one of them. That's pretty good. Uh, right now, what we could do is just crash with Exploder Dragon. We've already wrecked. We've already completely wrecked their their advantage. So if we just hit him with an Exploder Dragon, that would be pretty pretty uh, cheeky and hilarious. Uh, we could also just banish it with DD Warrior. So I kind of want to do that as well. But I think a simple Man Eater Bug might be better. Uh, but I'm gonna go for this play. Go. I'm gonna go for this play right now. Exploder Dragon in attack position. We're gonna try to attack our opponent. Come on, dude. Come on. Let me do my thing. Unless you got Floodgate. No, you do not. All right, let's go ahead and attack. Attack that thing, dude. Do you have an Econ? Oh, Super Rush, dude. No! No! Destroyed by battle. You are kidding me, dude. I could lose next turn. If they summon... Nah, I don't... Mm, they could. They have... They probably have multiple Rose Lovers. Which we'll check. Uh, oh, yeah. They do have a Rose Lover. If they draw another big one, I'm, I'm going to lose. If they draw another big one, I'm going to lose. But I'm definitely going to be able to block one hit. But we'll see. What else do you got? Oh, come on. Okay. All right. I thought that was going to be the, the hurt. Uh, not bad, I guess. Setting, battle. All right, not not bad. I can deal with this. I'll just Kariba. <laughs> Get wrecked. All right. Not bad at all. Ooh, the Sphere Kariba. Perfect. Uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is probably set this guy. Yeah. This is good. This way, we will... I think they've already used all three of their Marinha. If they're using the other one, I forget her name. I think it's Talaya or something. Or I, I forget her name, but she's the one that makes it so they, they can't be destroyed. That one would wreck me because it makes plants undestructible or indestructible. But uh, they're going straight for the battle, dude. They're going to get wrecked. All right. You are getting wrecked. Man Eater Bug, destroy that Marinha. Too good, dude. Too good. This deck is broken. Actually, no. This deck is kind of bad because I've gotten a lot of losses with it. But, all right. Not bad. I could... There's no point in attacking the, the pineapple. I might as well just set up 
I might as well just set up. We're gonna we're gonna try to deck our opponent out right now. We're gonna try to deck you out. I don't think they have any more big monsters. They might not. Hey, a rose lover! Are you gonna take some damage right now? Are you gonna take some damage? Oh no. Are you really gonna take Are you gonna take damage, dude? Uh, okay, go ahead. Proceed. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, dingus. Alright. No super rush. No super rush pineapple. Alright, so. Draw. Ooh, four star. They're all level one and two, though, so that's bad. Uh, I'm gonna go for another, another Yomi ship. That way, they can't really do anything about it. All their monsters are gonna get wrecked. I don't think they can recover the Marinha unless they run, like, Monster Reincarnation or something. But we'll see! We will see! We're all about annoying our opponents here! Also, these duels are probably gonna be a little bit longer than usual, so I might I might just do two. But we'll see. Alright, what do you got? Hey, a 1750! Not bad! Are you gonna- You're not attacking! Perfect. Perfect, dude. Hey, you're letting me build my resources, and there's no point in setting you. Uh, because they won't destroy anything. Uh, I could set the DD Warrior for that added disrespect. And you know what? I think I will. I think I will, actually. So we're gonna set this guy. And we're gonna go ahead and end. Alright. We're doing pretty well right now. Yeah, they got one card left, dude. They have to go on the offensive. They have to. At least attack the... DD Warrior, because I just said it. No, they quit, dude! We got him to quit! <laughs> Alright, pretty good. Alright, so there's one win. Alright, fair enough. Next duel. Alright, who's next? We got Kraken. We got the Kraken over here from Greece. Alright, so, they got Pegasus, dude. Every time I see Pegasus, it's, it's dangerous, dude. It's dangerous. Alright, so he's on a winning streak, too. So they could have Cyber Angels. I keep forgetting to switch to that mat, dude, and he's got Mind Scan. That's terrible. He sees everything that I have, dude. This is actually bad. I mean, we have the defense, which is nice. But let's see what we got. All right. So we're waiting for response right now. I think, I don't know. I feel like my opponent might have just quit as soon as they saw me. They, they think it's like... Yeah, they think, they think I got the Bamboo Cancer. So they just quit. <laughs> oh, that's not bad at all. Fair enough, we got another win. <laughs> Next game. All right, potentially last game. What do we got? Ever GTZ2 from Mexico, dude. All right, so we got a Seto Kaiba. I feel like I've been seeing that a lot today. All right, so we got, we're going second. Uh, it's not exactly what I like to do. I like to go first with this deck. We got that dual stat. Oh god, he's got 30 cards. In no. 30 card deck. He's gonna be aggressive, and I got the Karibos at least, so. 30 card deck. How am I gonna mill this guy out? I mean, even with triple warm worm, which is highly unlikely, but. Jeez, dude. I set a monster face down. Okay. Alright then. I end my, my turn. turn. Cool. Alright, we got that DD Warrior. Nice. Nice thing to start off with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy. This deck is pretty straightforward. We're all about setting things. We're all about passing. It's a very non-conflicting deck. Except we kill all their stuff. Alright, so... What else you got? What else? That's it. I'm gonna set and pass. Oh, he's tributing. Yeah, he's in a bad deck, dude. This guy's got a Horus deck, apparently, and Mountains doesn't even power it up because it's unaffected by spells. And then he gets destroyed. What a dingus. What a dingus. Ding dong dingus. Alright. So, there you go. You got wrecked. That's what happens when you tribute against me with this deck. Uh, you know what? I think, since he did use level 4, I think we could, we could take advantage of 4-star Ladybug. I really do think we can do this. I mean, it won't, we won't get, be getting the maximum benefit off of it, but it's either that or set like a DD Warrior, which I don't want to do. Uh, Terra is good, but it only really bounces it back to his hand, which is only good when he's got a big monster. So they all have their they all have their situation when they're most effective. But the thing is, we're gonna have to mill this guy somehow. Oh, we can we can just deal damage. 
We could just deal damage right now, dude. Which I kind of want to do. You know what? You're Screw perfect. it. We're going to deal damage to this guy. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack him. Let's battle. What if, what if, like, that's all he had? What if that, like, Horus is all he had? Red Eye Spirit, dude. I will clash right into your red eyes, dude. I'll play this. I special summon a monster. No. I'll let you decide what you want to do. I will let you decide because this thing destroys as well. Get ready. My turn. Draw. See how he handles this, dude. This is still potent like we still have potential to be pretty uh, aggressive right now. Does he want his red eyes banished? Probably not. There you go. I knew you wouldn't want it banished. You're just gonna get it destroyed. Let's get wrecked. Alright, pretty good. I could just straight up attack that face down. Oh, he's got the Michizure. Meaning, someone's getting destroyed. Alright, that's fine. That is completely fine with me. Meaning, we're not, we're not gonna be aggressive anymore. We're just gonna start setting the Yomi ships and passing. Uh, I do feel like he can, he could maybe summon a big red eyes. I don't, I don't think so though. But if he does, this is where this guy would come in handy. All right, so he's got like a dragon build, so it's mainly, I guess, red eyes, dragon. It's not zombies. So, hey, you got the fusions. That's pretty cool. We'll now battle. You're just gonna get wrecked, dude. You're just gonna get wrecked. You're gonna take the damage. Get wrecked. <laughs> Dude, we gotta mill this guy out somehow. We have to mill this guy. This guy's has he's got way too many cards in his deck. It's really annoying. Terra would be good if he has the fusion. So right now, we're setting you. And we're gonna pass. Alright, not bad. My turn's over. My turn. Draw! I activate enemy controller. Enemy controller? Oh no! Left, right, A, B. All right, so let's see what he does. He's gonna just econ take or switch me to attack. Okay, not bad. He wants to deal 400 damage and lose his monster. Uh, all right. I feel like I feel like I feel like, I feel like that's not a very, not a very smart move, but I, I will go ahead and take it. I will go ahead and take it. Stop it. Could have also just karibo actually. But I want to save Karibos for when he summons, like, something threatening. Because there are situations when... When I, I just can't fight back, dude. So, I could try to attack him for 800. And then if he attacks the Terra, I can really wreck him. Uh, but for now, I think I'm good. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to attack... And he's gonna have to get over it somehow. But for now, I'm gonna actually try beating down my opponent with this 800 attack monster. Alright, so is he, does he have like a windstorm or something? He does have something. Alright, do you have another econ? You might, you might as well use it. There you go. I will eventually. Alright, so we're gonna see if we can actually like deal damage to this guy. Because I don't think we're gonna be able to deck him out. I highly doubt the deck out will be possible. So... You have like what, like eight more cards than me? Oh jeez, dude. Hey, you're actually running this guy. Newt? You're running Newt Newt. Oh, uh, so you're gonna attack this guy and get it bounced back? Yeah, you're right. You know what? That's fine, but we're gonna go ahead and use this Karibo. There we go. Damage count? I don't wanna take any damage. I just don't wanna take damage. It's a thousand damage right there. And you're gonna get bounced. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, so. That's one way to send this thing back to his hand. And we got the DD Warrior, dude. This is actually pretty cheeky. Because if he does summon it, it just straight up gets banished. So, let's do that. Ooh, I think I should have attacked, though. I, I'm an idiot. I should have attacked, actually. I mean, he probably could have econed it or whatever, but... I don't know. I feel like he won't attack the DD Warrior. And he's gonna go for Newt again, right? And he's got the Newt! Get out of here, Newt Newt! Alright, so Newt Newt is gonna fight me now. Uh, let's see. Oh, he didn't. He didn't! He's actually getting the hang of it. He's, he's starting to understand that you, you just can't beat my deck, dude. 
So, we're gonna go on the offensive since we have all the Karibos in the world right now. We're gonna summon this guy. We're gonna summon him. We're gonna flip the Maneater Buck. So let's go ahead and get just just get rid of this guy. It targets him. He does his, his shenanigans. Uh, I forget what he summons, but it, it should be at zero. So I should not have a problem dealing with it. Even with this 800 monster. Actually, Maneater Bug can deal with it. That's not bad. Hey, that red eyes is pretty weak. So let's go ahead and flip this guy too. Hey, look at that. I could banish your red eyes if I really wanted to. So see what this is gonna be let's see what we can do here all right so kill the red eyes obviously I could have banished it but I'll save it I'll save it for when he actually has like a full power threat red eyes so right now he can do something I don't know what uh, what are you gonna do econ Itaqua. metal metal morph really I mean you become 500 so yeah there you go do 50 all right not bad Metamorph is okay, but only if you're being aggressive. All right, so he has something else. I just don't know what. Are you going to use it or not? Are you going to make me banish your red eyes? I don't know if that's what you want. You should probably just take it, dude. Okay. So we're waiting for response. I don't know if my opponent just got mad and they just decided to quit, but we'll, we will see. That's how you win the game, dude! You annoy your opponent to the point where they gotta quit. Oh, nice, dude. We, we just annoyed them! Alright, and that's pretty much it. We got, actually, a pretty, pretty decent amount of wins. Uh, I got some disconnects, so I had to cut those out. But this deck is okay. It's, it's mostly a meme deck. It's just an all-monster deck. Uh, it's not very good. If you, if you try to use it in succession, you're going to get wrecked by almost anything. Uh, anybody who's using Ancient Gears is going to wreck you. Anybody who uses anything that negates monster effects, you're going to get wrecked. And maybe even like some, anything that deals piercing. So, I don't know, man. Cyber Angels? Probably. So, it's not a very, very good deck, at least from what I've used. I don't have any Hain Hain or Hane Hane, whatever, however you say it. So, I couldn't take the... I couldn't, I couldn't mess with it like to the max. But that's pretty much it for today. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you guys.